Hi, my name is Stephen Putt, and I'll be showing you how Blast Logic integrates with your drill navigation system to help you manage your drilling and your blasting more effectively. I'll show you how to quickly access drill data from your GPS navigation systems. I'll show you how to make corrections to any outlying data points. And I'll show you some uh, visual tools to help you track your drilling accuracy. So first, we'll come into our validation panel. So what we're looking at here is a live feed from your drill navigation's data server. And this provides a connected view of what's happening in the field, which means you don't have to import, you don't have to download anything, and you certainly don't have to enter any data in. And this is one part of Blast Logic that can save quite a bit of time. And from here, we can just click on one of our drill shifts. So we've got morning, evening, and we've got our two drills on site. So we'll go ahead and pick one of those shifts. And you can see it's pulled in all the holes that were drilled in that shift, and we've even got a path that shows the direction that the drill went in. Uh, so one of the quickest ways to, to kind of make sense of this is to come into our validation panel. From here, we have a button called Assisted Validation. That's basically going to look for any designed hole that is extremely close to an actual drilled hole. And you can see here some of those holes have been kind of matched up just by turning yellow. And all that happens is it finds a... Uh, actual drilled hole and then just matches with a designed hole. So here we've got a couple that we can just highlight and show you that these two match together. Um, and that was using our one foot radius here in the middle, but let's go ahead. We've got some kind of outliers, so maybe we can do better than that. We'll just expand our search radius and try again. And here you can see some of these extra holes have kind of um, linked up. And let's just pull on our surface to find out what happened there, because all these holes are a little bit off. Um, and it just looks like we've got a bit of a high wall there, maybe a berm that they ran into. So they had to drill the holes a little bit behind where they should have been. Um, for example, this 158's quite a bit off. So what we have to do from here is match up these kind of remaining holes. Uh, so what we have to do is kind of select each pair of holes. Uh, go ahead and associate. And you can go ahead and do the rest really quick. And let's have a look at this one as well. This looks like this one got drilled twice. So we've got one hole. Let's check it down here. Oh, so one of these holes is really short. And the other one looks like it might have been a redrill or something for the short hole. So what we'll go ahead and do here is select both of those. We can call it a redrill. And it's going to go ahead and abandon that first short hole. And then name the second as a redrilled hole. And we'll go ahead and finish the rest of these. Go ahead and associate. And it's that easy. So then we basically hit validate all. So it's going to go ahead and call all those holes, or it's going to match the design hole with the actual hole. Hit apply. And then we can go ahead and have a look at that pattern. And what we see is we do have um, some different colors here. So we've got blue for holes that have been drilled, purple for holes that haven't been drilled. And what we're looking at is the as-drilled as locations, and we can kind of compare next to design. So they were supposed to be way up front here, but what's actually happened is a little bit different. And so then we can also kind of have a different view. And we can look at the depth variation. So we'll just come in and see we've got our redrilled hole. So that one was drilled a little bit short, but we've redrilled it. Uh, and then we've just got some basic, um, these all look like they've done pretty well, but just different colors for different depth variations. And we can also select all the holes and even go into a XY report. So this is just how far off the holes are in plan view. So we've got these little outliers here that were probably the face holes. We can go to a histogram even a layout plot, and once again, we can have a look at the holes that were off on the face, um, and then there's even a table view of how far off they are. So this is just a couple different ways that you can have a look at your drilling data, uh, a bit quicker and more visual than I think a lot of people are used to. Hopefully that lets you uh, make some better decisions for the field, I and mean, you can even come back in these other holes, and you could maybe load these with a different type of explosives if you knew they were going to be a little bit off of where they were supposed to be. I and mean, we can do that in Blast Logic as well. Thanks for watching. And if you have any other questions or would like some more information, visit our website at maptech.com.